So today we've hired a driver to take us around and our first stop is a coffee plantation. Are these a coffee pot? Yeah. So wait, the bean, like... The, the bean is in that... Inside? Yeah, yeah that's the, the fruit. Cell? They have another cell. Oh. oh. This is the poop from the animal, from the luwak. Animal eat the bean direct from the tree. And coffee, they just swallow it. Mm -hmm. Even they just did. That's why the fruit still been intact like this. Yeah. Why do they eat it if they can't digest it? No, they eat the fruit part of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They, they're eating like the. They like to eating the skin mm -hmm. because the skin of coffee is sweet like a candy. That's why to making one kilo take time forty two days. Wow. In one kilo. Lua coffee. If you drink it. Mm. Not need to add sugar or milk. Don't add yeah, because it has sweet. The, 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 the luwak coffee is sweet originally. Okay. Luwak except coffee bean, the eating yeah, bananas, like a, papaya, like chocolate as well. Mm. And that cacao pod the chocolate. Oh. This one? Yeah. It's chocolate oh. pod? Yeah, <coughs> chocolate in it. And this is Rosella. We do put a tea. Uh, it's a bit now. This okay. one I will make now for you. This is pre to testing. Oh. Except this coffee only. So this plantation here, they're actually the wild luwax. So what our guide told us is that every uh, two weeks, they go into the forest in the morning and in dust time to go find the poop from the cat. How they process the coffee here, what they do is they find the poop, they boil it in hot water or like heat up the bean so it gets rid of the poop. Um, then they roast it in this clay pot over fire. And the clay pot helps keep the temperature and they just keep stirring the bean slowly until they want it the right um, roast that they want. And once it's cooled, they peel the outer shell of the bean to get to the bean on the inside. So it's actually fruit, shell, then bean. This is banana chip. This one with the rock coffee without sugar. Okay. Bali coffee, this one. Uh -huh. Coconut coffee, vanilla, ginger, and ginseng. This is same in order. Yeah? Okay. This is tea. Go to this way. Two of this is chocolate in this way. This is the Bali coffee. I like this coffee. Yeah. It's black coffee, but it's sweet. Really sweet. So 50,000 rupiah for one cup of uh, Kopi Luwak coffee. Want some more? Thanks. Okay. You're getting durian coffee. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is so good. The coconut. Oh, wow. There's so much flavor. Oh, that's nice too. It's fruity. It's sweet. My favorite is the coconut one. The most interesting one was the durian coffee. It's coffee with a hint of durian, but it's not the, as strong flavor as the fruit. But you do taste the durian flavor. I like it. It's, this is the interesting one. I think the worst one is this herbal tea. I like the herbal tea. It tastes so strong of herbs. It's so I bad. like the herbal no, tea. No. Oh man, Chinese medicine. So we're here in Ubud at the Sacred Monkey Forest. It costs 80,000 rupiah, which is roughly $8 Canadian. We're going to see some monkeys. Apparently there's monkeys in this forest. Yes. And they're just everywhere. I will do all of these things. Do, I would not do this. Do not look at the monkey in the eye. Why? Don't ever touch or grab or disturb a monkey. I'll grab him by the balls. Oh. Get a monkey. Hug the baby. We're just checking for uh checking for ticks. Checking for hemorrhoids? It's a banana. Okay. Uh oh. Hey, what's up? It's not food. You got rabies on that cat now. He touched my dead cat. This guy's full spread. It was at this moment he knew. He f***ed up. <laughs> what did he want? What did he want? <laughs> I don't, I... 
I think I looked at him too long. I haven't even looked at his eyes. Did you touch him? No. <laughs> Other friends again. It's like a ninja. <laughs> Do a back roll. Is there a monkey on it? Okay. Yeah? Oh, it just jumped off. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh shoot, it's opening your zipper. Well, it was. There's a big handprint on your backpack now. That thing's got grip. Grab my head good. So that was fun. Yeah. Henry got attacked by a monkey. Jen got pooped on. I don't think I showed that though, and I got mounted by a monkey. Wonder what our tour guide has next in store for us. So our guide Enrico has brought us to a uh, restaurant. Wow, look at this place. Swing over the patties. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> wow. I hope it's gonna Finally got my coconut. The giant coconut. And then I can eat the coconut meat after. Sorry, so I have coconut here. It's sweet. It's sweet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you have a second. Mm -hmm. If it's grain. So I'm digging my coconut now. I still have a lot of water in the coconut. But. To the meat. Meat. Coconut meat. Where are you? Thank you. The food looks tropical. It does look tropical. <laughs> All the different colors. So we're at this restaurant called Uma Checking. They're famous for their crispy duck. So I got a good chunk of the duck meat and the crispy skin. The supplies. Mm. The duck meat is so tender and juicy and then with the sambal sauce the sambal sauce is not too spicy but there is a kick to it i think this is like a bean salad mountain rice that i kind of destroyed i think these are shallots and garlic and red peppers and then you get half a duck all for about 12 dollars canadian it's very good now you want to do the trekking on the rice field so i'll drop you off here Do you want to go down? Huh? Do what? Yeah. I think they're better already. Oh, no. We got away from the rain by driving a little further south, I think. And now we're at a waterfall. We're back at our apartment now. That was an awesome day. And Rico, our guide, took us around and we saw everything. And of course, there was a thunderstorm because uh, apparently we can't get away from that kind of stuff. Every destination we've been so far, they've been, there's been like a massive, massive rainstorm. Um, but Enrico is an awesome guide. I totally recommend um, contacting him if you are going to be in Bali. I'll leave his contact information down below in the description of this video. But uh, that's it for Bali for us. It's been an amazing experience to be traveling uh, in Southeast Asia and Thailand. Short stop at Kuala Lumpur and uh, ending in Bali. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next one.